transform your hair with hair growth products by 12 tribes on earth. Experience natural, powerful ingredients that promote thicker, longer, and healthier hair. Say goodbye to thinning and hello to confidence. Hair growth oil, shampoo, spray, and butter by 12 tribes on earth because your hair deserves the best. Just look for the links in the comment section. If you are on the Northeast part of the country or the Midwest, they said 250 million people are impacted by this recent heat wave. So, and we have been going through it for about a week and it's going to also be a few days next week and sunday for us where i am is 99 degrees of course the heat index triple digits man you literally cannot do you just gotta stay out of the heat it is absolutely crazy and one thing and i was talking to true royal about this earlier i noticed the heat waves are stronger and they are longer lasting. I remember when I was coming up, heat wave maybe three days, every now and then maybe four, but it would always break after just a few days. Well, not anymore. You know, some places, are, you know, are going through this like two and three weeks before something comes along and breaks the heat wave. And I'm certainly noticing it. Some of those big cities on the I-95 corridor, we will find those temperatures come down a little bit by Monday as a cold front comes through. But until then, we are sweltering. We've got temperatures. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the heat, the heat. Uh, alerts that have been stretching from uh, New York to Philadelphia, D.C., even over towards Cleveland. This is a look at the advisories and those warnings that Polo was talking about. We're looking at more than 80 percent of the lower 48. That's more than 250 million people with temperatures at 90 degrees or higher as we go through the next couple of days. And that could drop more than 250 records. Both daytime highs and overnight lows will actually break more records for the overnight temperatures because we really get no relief at night. Here's a look at the current temperatures. We are at 94 in Raleigh, 95 in Nashville, 94 degrees in Atlanta, even low 90 stretching up to Chicago, 98 degrees right now in Washington, D.C. Um, Baltimore has already hit 101. So again, it's pretty hot. But in D.C., we're watching that current temperature closely because if we hit 100 degrees today, that would be the first time since 2016, more than 200 Eight, uh, 2000 rather 2868 days since DC has hit 100 degrees and again we're two degrees shy as of right now so we still have some time to squeeze that out temperatures up near 100 Saturday and Sunday from DC to Richmond Virginia up in Philadelphia as well and you can see where these temperatures again do back off on Monday as that cold front comes through they get a little bit closer to average with those highs closer uh, to the 80s now again the temperatures on the overnight don't really give you too much relief middle and upper 70s we could be looking at 80 degree low temperatures around the DC area and this is the real killer because you just don't get any of that relief at night after sweltering all day you don't even get those nighttime temperatures to help so it really puts people without access to air conditioning uh, at risk right so this extreme heat risk continues as we go through the day today you can see it major uh, across the I-95 corridor from New York down to Baltimore and D.C., some extreme in parts of uh, Ohio. And then as we go through the rest of the weekend, it continues to kind of sit and settle across the uh, parts of the southeast as the temperatures stay warm as we start the work week. All right, so you heard what they said on the video. Man, we are definitely feeling it. And Ladies and gentlemen, this can be a dangerous time, especially for people with health problems, elderly people, young children, so and even your pets, especially outdoor pets, you really should be bringing them in on these kind of days. Last night, somebody decided to have a pretty loud party and the police were all over the streets last night. It looked like it was a bunch of teenagers and possibly a house party. It was very hot out there. I don't know how they were walking up and down the streets the way that they, you know, they were doing. But I think the police eventually cleared everybody out of here. 
So we are 99 with the heat index. They said it was going to feel like 108 for us. And I know this is going to go on until next week for us. You just got to keep yourself hydrated and do the best that you can to get through these treacherous days. You know, I have a feeling July is going to be an exceptionally hot month this year. And I think more heat waves like this one is definitely coming. I mean, how do you avoid it this time of the year? It's it's summer. Well, all I know is I just want everybody to be safe. Please, you know, if you can't handle it, try to get in where there's air conditioning. Or if you don't have it, maybe you can stay with a friend or family member. Usually if you work, that gives you relief right there because, you know, places of business will always have AC. Not unless you're an outdoor worker then that's a whole different scenario. But stay safe, everybody. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.